Let us tell you the story of Niobe, the Queen of Thebes. The tragic tale of Niobe is one of the most poignant in Greek mythology. Her father was Tantalus, king of a town above Mount Syphilus in Anatolia. When Niobe grew up, she got married to Amphion, king of Thebes. This was a turning point in her life, and a series of tragic events followed to give her a distinct place in one of the most tragic dramas in Greek mythology. Niobe and Amphion gave birth to fourteen children, seven sons and seven daughters. Life was good for her, maybe a little too good. Niobe's mistake took place at a ceremony held in honour of Leto, the mother of the divine twins, Apollo and Artemis, who was also living in Thebes. Niobe, in a fit of arrogance, bragged about her fourteen children. In fact, Niobe said that she was superior to Leto, as she had fourteen children, and not only two. When the twins heard this insult, they became enraged, and at once came down to earth to kill the children of Niobe. Apollo, the god of light and music, killed all seven of Niobe's sons with his powerful arrows in front of their mother's eyes. Although Niobe was pleading to Apollo to feel mercy for her last surviving son, Apollo's lethal arrow who had already left the bow to find its mark with deadly accuracy, thus wiping out all the male descendants of Niobe. Artemis, the virgin goddess of nature and hunting, killed Niobe's seven daughters with her lethal arrows. Devastated by the slaughter of his children, Amphion committed suicide, and so it was that Niobe's entire family had been wiped out by the gods in a matter of moments, and in a deep anguish, she ran to Mount Syphilus, where she pled to the gods to give an end to her pain. Zeus felt sorry for her and transformed her into a rock to make her feelings like that of stone. However, even as a rock, Niobe continued to cry. Her endless tears poured forth in a stream from the rock as it seemed to stand as a moving reminder of a mother's eternal mourning. To this day, Niobe is mourning for her children and people believe that her faint image can still be seen carved out in a limestone rock cliff on Mount Syphilus, with the water that seeps out of the porous rocks bearing a strong allusion to her ceaseless tears. One would believe that such a story cannot possibly be reflected in anything happening today. Right? 